Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Adam here with Retro Repairs and time for another repair video. So, as you can see in front of me, we've got a package here. Um, package obviously came from somewhere magical that has stuff to fix. So, let's crack her open, show you what we got, see if we can fix it. Listen to D8 Night. So, all right, there you go. Guy plugged his podcast, or, but, oh well. Okay, I'm just going to take a look at this. So he sent me a letter, you know, asking for feedback. So this, ah yes, what do we buy here? Bought six Game Boy games for parts or repair. Cost me $35. And this is what we've got. So let's open her up, see what we've got. See if they work, see what can be fixed, see what can't be fixed. So right off the bat, we've got, you know, a classic Tetris. Um, I'm guessing that's just a code so they know what's what. Uh, mystery game. Some sort of DS game. X-Men Destiny. GoldenEye Rogue Agent. Nickelodeon Rocket Power Getting Air. And SpongeBob SquarePants Legend of the Lost Spatula. So, um, yeah. Let's just fire up the old Game Boy and uh, see what works, see what doesn't work. So before anything, I'm going to give them a little bit of a clean. I'm going to use some isopropyl alcohol and just hit the pins. Make sure that they're at least serviceably clean. And I'm just going to look at the Game Boy games for now. They'll figure out the DS stuff another day. Okay, game number one, Tetris. Okay, so we get the full Nintendo logo, and we get Tetris. That's kind of disappointing. Full disclosure, I suck at Tetris, but this very clearly works. Yeah. All right. Well, not much of a video for that one. I hope some of these are broken. I kind of bought them expecting they are. All right. No Nintendo logo. So we're off to a great start. Cool. So got something to look at here. Okay, and let's check out Spongebob. And same thing. Interesting. Just out of curiosity, I'm going to try it on actual Game Boy Color. I just want to see what happens. Okay, so we've got my Pokemon Edition Game Boy Color that I fixed up kind of recently. If you haven't seen the video, go check it out. It's, uh, it was a pretty easy fix for this, but power on. Okay, so we got kind of garbled up Nintendo logo. Yeah, same thing. So, very clearly, these don't work, which is why I bought them. It's kind of unfortunate about the Tetris game that that works, but, uh, you yeah, know, can't win them all, I guess. So, let's get started. Let's open up SpongeBob SquarePants and see what there is to see. Under the sea. Pun intended. I'm sorry. That was terrible. Okay. So... That's just alcohol on there that got stuck behind the shell, so that's not a big deal. I'm just going to give this a little bit of an inspection. Everything kind of looks okay. Um, I'm going to zoom in a touch here for you. Okay, 
There you go, a little better view. So the board itself looks pretty good. Um, there's really not a whole lot to the board. This is pretty similar to the uh, Barbie game I fixed recently. So maybe it'll be the same fix. Just want to take a quick look at these pins. I mean, everything looks okay, but uh, let's fire up the soldering iron and see if that can be fixed quickly. Okay, so what I'm going to try and do here is just reflow these pins. Um, it's a very common thing that I've done with Game Boy games. And last time I did this, a number of commenters pointed out that often it's just the first pin here that's um, got a bad connection. So just out of curiosity, I'm going to try just the four corners. I want to see if that makes a difference. So I'm going to start by throwing some flux in there. I'm going to grab my soldering iron, clean it off the tip. And then just going to add just a little bit of solder to it, just like so. And then I'm going to hit the top pin. I'm going to clean that off a little bit with some alcohol, but I'm curious if that does the trick. We'll put the, uh, put that hypothesis to a test that it's just one of the four pins. And if it's not, then I'll do the whole chip, but I just want to see for myself. Get some flux and get that up. Okay. So with Game Boy games, um, another thing to check with Game Boy Color games is that the shell is not broken along the edges. Um, there is actually a little sensor in there, I believe, that makes sure that the, um, the cartridge is right. I guess it's to make sure that it's the correct kind of cartridge. But, uh, okay. Got a Nintendo logo. And we're booting into SpongeBob. So, hey. Good point, whoever commented that on my last uh, Game Boy game. I think a couple of people actually did, but uh, Jeff, definitely just that one ch pin seems to have solved that problem. And here we are, SpongeBob. Well, okay. Let's uh, screw this back together. And then let's take a look at that other one. See if we can't get a two-for-one video here today. My gift to you, because it's starting to get warm out. I don't know about you guys where you live, but uh, out here, I'm in Canada, there's still easily two feet of snow outside. So we are nowhere near spring. Okay. Nickelodeon rocket power, getting air. So let's check this guy out. So, very similar board to the previous one. Um, let's just try, I just want to try that one pin. Not even going to bother with all four. I'm just going to try the one corner one. See if that's the ticket. So, let's rotate a little bit. Get some solder on the iron. And reflow. That's a fair amount of solder on there, actually. I don't love that, but point is, it should be good. Nintendo logo and another fix. So there's a nice little two for one Game Boy Color game repair video under 10 minutes. Not bad, not bad at all. So let's check this guy out here. I hate the splash screens that you can't skip. There we go. All right, we are skateboarding. 
Kind of sucks at skateboarding, though. Ghost bike. Not really sure what the point here is. Do I get off? Oh, I went out of bounds. So somehow I lost and I'm not quite sure. Oh, now I'm snowboarding. And I hit a rock. Oh, that's what happens when you snowboard sometimes, you hit a rock. So, um, that's going to be about it. I think I'm going to wrap these videos up here. So, two very easy fixes for a couple Game Boy Color games. It's unfortunate that I couldn't do anything with that Tetris game. There's nothing to do with it. But, uh, hopefully, um, this video can be helpful to some. So, like I said, very easily, all you need is soldering iron, some isopropyl alcohol. Flux is really a must for work like this it just makes the solder go so much easier so i want to thank you for watching though i really appreciate it it means a lot to me if you like the video please leave a like below leave a comment below let me know what you think uh, let me know if you've got any kind of requests and if you haven't already please sub to the channel every subscriber helps get more viewers more viewers means more videos it's simple as that so once again i want to thank you for watching we will see you next video